Well, the longtime sheriff of Tarrant County heading for a runoff in the Republican primary. D. Anderson going for a fifth term. His opponent, former Dal Worthington Gardens Police Chief Bill Wayburn, a third candidate dropped out of the race but was still on the ballot and the 11 percent that he got forced that runoff. Sheriff D. Anderson, kind enough to uh, join us this morning, uh, looking ahead to the uh, the runoff election, which is something you you, you hoped you'd be you'd be able to avoid. Just it has to be kind of frustrating that uh, a handful of votes by a guy who dropped out of the race was the deciding factor. Well, it is, and certainly to <laughs> finish first by more than 13,000 votes, is, it's a little frustrating that we didn't have the exact percentage needed. Just a, about a percent and a half more would have pushed us over, but you know, we knew it was going to be a tough race. We'd had a ton of money spent against us, had a really nasty campaign run against us, and so you know, we're prepared to put, push on. We finished first, and we won the night, and we're prepared to win again when we need to in 12 weeks. Uh, you said last night, I will not start campaigning that way. Specifically, what were you referring to when you referred to a nasty campaign? Well, I mean, there was several mailers put out that were just outright fabrications and lies. I mean, they insulted not only my 16 years of work, but worked by a bunch of people at, at the county that have, have no place to be insulted in this race. It was just really despicable, some of the things that were said and done. And, you know, I don't run that way. I've never run that way. I run on my record, and I've had 16 years of no scandals, no bad headlines, no jailbreaks. You know, we've done a great job turning this department around. It was in shambles 16 years ago, and I've served with honor and dignity, and I'll campaign that way as well. And it was a mess when you took over. The budget was a mess. Uh, that was something that needed to be straightened. Now, a lot of people don't understand the job of the sheriff uh, is less kicking in doors than it is uh, being an administrator in charge of the budget and in charge of uh, the, the unglamorous job of running the jail. Yeah, I mean, you know, 3,500 inmates are down there every day that need your attention. We've got 1,600 employees that have to be dealt with, uh, not to mention running a $120 million a year budget. And, you know, my opponent has campaigned a lot about being the top cop in Tarrant County. We saw that model before I got there, and we saw what a mess things were. You know, we need an administrator. We need somebody. You know, I consistently run the department four and five million dollars under budget. You know, I've been a great steward of the taxpayers' money. Uh, you know, my opponent's not interested in running jails at all. He's interested in in uh, you know be, being a, a cop. And, and Tarrant County has plenty of really good police officers and really good police chiefs. Uh, you know, we need we need a sheriff that's a good administrator that works well with the county government. And I'll continue to do that as long as long as I hold the office. All right, Sheriff D. Anderson. Thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. It is uh, 737 right now. And uh, coming up, Sheriff Anderson's uh, challenger, Bill Wayborn, looks at his plans for the upcoming runoff election. Well, we just heard from incumbent Tarrant County Sheriff D. Anderson. Now we are joined by the man who will be in the May 24th Republican primary runoff with him, former Dal Worthington Gardens Police Chief Bill Wayborn. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so what a wild turn of events here. We thought that we would know for sure who it was going to be. Now we've got this runoff coming. Uh, you've campaigned pretty hard so far. Are you ready to do even more for the next few months? We are. The, the yeah. momentum is still absolutely there, and we knew that this might be a possibility from you know a couple of mm -hmm. months ago, so we, we're ready for it. So third candidate dropped out, and, and logistically, that person had 11%. Right. If that 11% had gone to you, things would be very different this morning. They wouldn't uh, be. So, so what, what do you think? Do you think that, that those people are going to be on your side come runoff time? Well, he, he has endorsed us. John Garris has endorsed yeah. us and, and, and helped us run even yesterday, and we think that they will be. Was that just a logistical ballot thing? Were you expecting to see that? Uh, far as, as far as him being still on the ballot? Uh, no, we, he, by the time he suspended his campaign, we knew he was on the ballot, so we knew that this possibility existed. Yeah, so we, we just spoke with Dee Anderson on the air, and he said that, you know, my opponents run a nasty campaign. What's your response to that? We, don't, we believe we stuck to the issues. It was him that went down in the gutter and started assassination of character. We haven't done that. We've hit the issues that we were concerned about, and uh, I'm sorry that he feels that way. Ultimately, he's been there for 16 years, you probably had opportunities here and there to potentially go in. What made you decide to run this time right now? 
Well, we thought that at the, at the beginning of this is that uh, several years ago, it was the last term, he said it was his last term, and now he, he recanted on that and decided to run. But we felt like that uh, we needed bold leadership in, uh, in the Sheriff's Department. We needed an ambassador out there in the community and, and with the, the things that are on the police dashboard of 2016. Uh, he, quite frankly, is an isolationist, and I'm somebody that's in the community. He uh, uh, decides to What do you mean by it. isolationist? Well, he believes and has said that he doesn't have time to be in the community. Uh, I believe that if we are going to head off things like Ferguson, if we're going to head off things like Baltimore, if we're going to do terrorism, which we're expected to do now, is that we have to have those relationships in the community of the informal and formal leaders of the whole community. So that is a change you, you referenced doing terrorism, which we have to do now. Right. So that's something that would have been different a couple of decades ago in terms of being have. in the Sheriff's Department. Absolutely. So let's talk about what, what would be your first change? What's the biggest change that you would make in Tarrant County? The first change, uh, I think the first change is, is right now, uh, that's the second highest turnover rate in the state of any agency, of any, any sheriff's department. And the morale's at a low time, it's 20 year low there, uh, based on our surveys. And we need to go in and visit with those people and talk to the people that are working there and empower them and make sure that they know that we are there with them and standing with them. And I think that's something that's very much lacking, is those internal relationships is the very first thing. And then we'd move on to those external relationships in the community, which I have most of them already. Thank you for coming in and making the trip across here in busy traffic on a, a Wednesday morning. It's an honor to be here. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you. everybody.